Hi and welcome to another video by me, FlowJo. So today we're going to be looking at the take function on Power Automate. So as you can see here, I have an array and we're also going to be looking at strings because the take function works with both strings and collections. So let's look at our collection example then. Well, we have a names variable here of an array of Joe, Jax and Meg and we're actually going to be passing this into the take function, but we're also going to be passing in a number because the number represents what we actually want to take from what we're passing in. So in our case, we want to take the first two objects within the array. So we're going to then get return of Joe and Jax. So the number signifies what we're actually taking from the array, how many objects in turn we're taking. Okay. So then, Let's actually look at a string example of this then. So we can use the take function for strings as well. So if we pass in a string of flowjo into the take function and we use for, we pass in the, the for parameter, then we're going to return flow because it's going to take the four first characters and return us that string. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate and I've got a manual trigger here and I'm also creating a names array. And this has a collection of 10 different names as well as I'm creating a string of flowjo. Now what I'm gonna be using is the take function and passing in two here and passing in the names array. And I'm gonna be doing exactly the same here except I'm passing in five instead of two and I'm passing in seven here instead of five. So what I'm expecting back then is I'm expecting back the first two here, then the first five, then the first seven out of the array. And now on the string side, we're doing exactly the same as the array, except we're passing in the string. But this time we are um, saying we want the first two characters and then we want the first five characters and then we want ultimately the first seven characters, which in turn is the entirety of Flow Joe. So let's actually take this for a spin then and see what we get back. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. So what we can see in the names array is Jacob and Emily. So we're expecting Jacob and Emily back as an array here. As you can see, we've got Jacob and Emily back. And then we're expecting the first five back. So we've got Jacob, Emily, Taylor, Joe and Meg. And we've got seven back for the seven and so on. So then let's actually take a look at the string version then. So we've got a string of flow Joe and we've got the first two characters back, which is FL. And then we've got the first five characters back, which is flow J. And then ultimately we've got the entirety of flow Joe back. And that is how you use the take function to actually select what you want from an array or a string with just one simple parameter. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.